Welcome to Stecker Studios. In this episode, we set up the ARB advisory portfolio in Google Drive. To keep things neat, I created a folder by itself just to kind of store our portfolio as we make it. I'm going to click New, New Folder, and we're going to title this folder with our name and the word portfolio. So for mine, Nick Stecker Portfolio. Click Create, and now it's going to appear. Double click it to enter the folder, and this is where we're going to set up all of our portfolio tabs, starting with the first one, tab one, narrative. So click new, folder, and then title the first tab, tab one, narrative. Go ahead and click create, and we're going to follow the same process to create the next folder. New, folder, tab two, service hours. Click create and your folder is done. Tab three is career readiness. This is where your resume belongs along with your brag sheet. Tab four is college readiness. This is where you put your transcripts, your transcript review forms, and also any applications related to college. Tab five is the core artifact. These are artifacts from classes such as ELA, math, science, or history. Tab six is the elective artifact. Elective artifacts come from classes such as Spanish, AEE, English composition, drama, or art. Tab seven is your service hour artifact. Tab 8 is the Achievement Artifact. These are achievements that you may earn each year. For example, things like Honor Roll, Perfect Attendance, a Sports Award, or awards given out by your teachers. Tab 9 is your Personal Vision Collage. Tab 10 is the end of the year reflection letter. Once you're done setting up all of your folders for your portfolio, it's time to start organizing your files into these folders. Organizing and placing your files into the designated folders may take the longest amount of time, depending on how organized you already are. I'm going to show you two ways for moving your files around into the folders, but before you do that, it's really important that you properly name all of your files. To rename a file, right click on the file and then click rename. Now you want to change the name so that you know what the file is, what year it was made, and what tab it belongs to. Um, so in this case, I'm naming this file Narrative 2019 and with my initials NS. I'm going to do this again with my other file, which is another narrative from 2020. And I'm again going to label it with my initials NS. Let's even get a little bit more specific here. I'm going to label 
my first narrative, 10th grade narrative, and we'll label our second one 11th grade narrative. So now we're ready to start moving our files. The first way I'm going to show you is simply just to click on the file we want to move and then drag it into the larger folder. You might get a warning about um, losing access if you have it shared. Just click OK. And now we're going to move it into the proper folder where it belongs, which is tab one, narrative. Now we're going to go back and I'll show you a second way to move these files. To move this other file, we're going to use the tabs on the left side. You can see I have a lot of subfolders, so we're going to click until we find the subfolder that we want to place this in. Now that I found the subfolder for my portfolio, I'm going to click and drag the file into the proper subfolder, in this case, tab one narrative. And there it is. Both files are in the proper tab, and we can follow this process to move the rest of our files. Now for the last step, which is very important, sharing your portfolio with your advisor. In order to do this, go back to the main folder right click on the folder and click share. Now you can edit your share preferences here. I'm selecting to allow preferences for organizing and editing so that things can be cleaned up and arranged. I'm typing in my advisor's name, checking my sharing settings one more time. I'm going to hit send and this will share my portfolio with my advisor. And that's it. Our portfolio is all set up in Google Drive. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to Stecker Studios.